Now, six-year-old Ian Baraka, who survived a bulletry attack at the Meru Isiolo border, is set to undergo a six-hour maxillofacial reconstructive surgery at Kenyatta National Hospital on Thursday, September 25th, 2025. Struck by a stray bullet in December 2023, Ian will become the world's first child to receive patient-specific implants designed to grow with him. The groundbreaking procedure offers hope not only to Ian, but also to many others in need of such complex reconstructive surgery. At just six years old, Ian Baraka carries scars of a tragedy no child should ever endure. December 2023, Mimi nilikuwa nimeenda soko nikakuta tu ameenda usi alipikwa saa kumi na moja ya jioni walikuwa na soso yake soso yake na yeye akapikwa na risasi kutoka hapo akaenda akaenda maua akakataliwa maua wakampeleka merkubwa kutoka hapo akakaa ICG wiki mbili wakatuambia tukuje Kenyatta the recovery has been long and painful. I had to put a feeding tube through his mouth to allow him to feed because he had no oral functions. All the tissues on his face were completely open and um, we had to do some significant soft tissue reconstruction to bring him to the stage that he is now. Once he was stable at this point, um, the upper jaw, the roof of the mouth was sealed up. So that means he's able to perform the swallowing function without any problems. And now, a team of specialists at the Kenyatta National Hospital is preparing for what they describe as a revolutionary surgery. These are patient-specific implants and they are two-piece. So what you see in grey here is simply a guide so that when they are being positioned, they are positioned precisely because they must fit and allow the teeth um, to function well. They are designed in two pieces. One the implant will support these teeth and two, they will support the nails and lip. The official surgeons will be able to do the placement and precisely have them sitting on the bone. The doctors say the procedure will be carried out in two stages. Considering that he's a growing boy, his face is generally expanding. The nature of these implants are such that um, they will allow for his face to expand. Basically, the implants will open up as the boy grows. So the first stage of surgery is to have the implants and at least give him some um, uh, proper facial appearance to function socially. We have planned to do um, more definitive surgery when he's uh, at least uh, 18 years old. That means uh, his bones uh, will have uh, completed their growth and uh, we are able to harvest uh, bones and other tissues from other parts of his body to use them to reconstruct the missing parts of his face and that planning for this groundbreaking surgery has not been without challenges unfortunately we don't have factories for implant what this country should do is even for these implants we should have facilities to manufacture and do these things locally here but they have to be imported from outside and they come very costly it will be a medical milestone financed by the goodwill of humanity. This case of Ian now, I can't thank the young lady on my far left for having, out of her own free will, done two marathons. Two marathons, one local, one international, and raised about 700 plus thousand Kenya shillings. Now she wants to run the Berlin Marath Marathon next in two weeks' time to go raise more resources. So I would say Kenyans, sponsor her. Sponsor her. Give her as much as you can to give her that satisfaction that she is going to make a difference in the life of this young uh, boy. For Ian and his family, the surgery is more than a medical procedure. It is a blessing. Doreen Arange for Prime Edition.